So yeah, we sort of ended in the middle of a run last time. We're in, oh, really bad shape, actually. Okay, we're leaving. <laughs> I don't know if there was a reason I didn't return to the temple at the end of the last video. I think maybe I'd just gone long and I just wanted to be done. Who knows? Who knows? Joe works in mysterious ways, you know. Welcome back. Um... I guess we've got a lot of merging to do. We had a quest to hand in, I believe, so we'll get that done real quick. Um, I don't know. We, we, uh, sort of... You know, we finished the job. We... A point where we have a lot of options, right? Hey, did you forget about that job? No way. I already finished it. Oh, gee, I'm glad. My heart's a flutter. Kiki Knox gonna be happy, too. Here's your reward. Thank you. Really? Only one really. Disappointing. Any uh, follow-up? Looking for items. <laughs> Another guy who's after hypnosis books. Apparently that's just a common thing. Something went wrong. Ah oh, yeah, that's the guy who wants to sell me a monster for some stones. I need... Leaf eggs, yeah, okay. Nothing that exciting in there at the moment. Unless I have the pretty stones, but I don't think I do. I've got two. Guess I'll kind of hold on to those. See if we can uh, we can reach the big five. Okay, so. Uh, quick stop by Kiki Mac and Company to sell up our garbage. We'll get back to all the stuff up there. See, we've got a lot of citron powder now, which is going to be useful at some point, but probably not worth carrying that much of it around with me. Get rid of the stones. Uh, I don't think shield books are ever worth hanging on to, really. Um, and I guess we just stash a lot of this. I'll sell like a bit of mugwort and actually keep hold of the Mel's elixirs. I think I get through mana faster than I get through uh, health. So Find something good in the forest and I'll give you just do a little bit of stashing. Mm, yeah, put these away for now. I guess we put the pretty stones away as well. Just hope I remember I have them. Uh, keep hold of a couple of citron powders, I guess. Tendai herb, Mel's elixir seven. Yeah, I mean that's still ten out of twenty-five. That's more than I'd like to be carrying around with me, really. But it covers, you know, bad things that might happen. Uh, so we want to go to the room of life. Do you think we're in a good enough position to take on the next advancement test? We did kind of. We did a pretty good job with the last one, I think. And everyone is quite powerful now. Do we go for one more merge before we try it, do you think? I think they are just going to keep getting more and more difficult. And I don't really have the best move set on some of these guys right now. So yeah, I think we do another merge. Harvest anything? What have we got then? Uh, what Valia water power? Don't really care. Medinia water power. Life attack is pretty good, and preventing blind, confused, and sleep is also pretty good. I think that Yarg is going to be useful if we can get it on the right fella. As is Tishus. So we got some good shit out of that. None of it is probably going to be particularly useful right now but we did get some good shit out of that i can't deny okay you can merge with anything to get your evolution and we really want to get you a fireside attack so let's do that first though before i do that not you what are your stats like joltik what are you good at your wisdom isn't much higher than your strength, so I guess you could have a strength ability. 
You're mostly just all about that spirit and that speed. You don't really look like a speedy boy, but you are quite. Okay, good to know. Um, yeah, I guess ideally a magic attack, but physical is also fine. We don't have a lot of options on the fire side, do we? We should probably head there next. I guess we could just do another Agnes and Wisdom up here. It's a bit lame just doing the same thing twice, but... Seems like an effective option. Nice. We have egg. I don't even know why they have that prompt there. I can't imagine a point where you're ever going to merge one of your beasts and then not ha I guess maybe if you just want to reduce the amount of creatures you've got, you can merge them and then go sell the egg. But, like, fucking why, you know? You're not going to get any money for it. You might as well just have it sat in your, your beast kennel forever. Pikachu, we don't really have a good option for you right now. You have the best attack that is available to you. You're not going to get an evolution either way. See what options we have. Can give him resistance to fire. Have him hatch as a fully grown Pikachu, I guess that's the thing. 10% more HP is potentially pretty powerful as well for the dude who stands in the middle of my formation. Uh, do, 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 do. Recover MP every turn isn't awful. Or just more HP or MP. Or 15 vitality. Nothing that exciting though. Is there anything wind side that would help us? More speed's quite nice, I guess. Wisdom and speed from that. I don't know really there's not really much to be gained from this right now I guess maybe just HP up too I guess make him a bit bulkier I don't know if 10% HP is necessarily better than 30 HP though because that implies he has to have for two to be better, he'd need at least 300 HP, which he definitely doesn't. Right? I may be overthinking this. You know what? I think I am overthinking this. I don't think we can get speed up one twice. Uh, power up. Strength up. That's the thing I meant. Twice. But we can just fucking give him 10% more speed and be done with it. Let's just make him faster. Fuck it, why not? Still got one more merge to go before he's actually uh, able to achieve his true power though. And by his true power I mean his stage 3 out of 4. <laughs> it's actually kind of tempting to replace him. Don't get me wrong, he's he's been very useful. And the fact that he's merged multiple times will give him a massive head start over anything I catch now. But it's a struggle to, to evolve him. Same with uh, Diggersby as well, for that matter. Fucking Maus, man. Diggersby can't actually merge, so... There we are. Let's get Krabby a new... And by new, I mean an old barrier ability back. Don't think we've got anything else that would be more useful, really, do we? So I guess we'll go back to... Baradis. 
And I guess we'll find whether we can have Vitality up plus one twice. I guess this will be an interesting experiment. really know what we're going to do with Arbok either. Sometimes you just have to merge because it's just what you have to do to keep gaining power, but you're not really achieving anything with it. <laughs> we don't have a better version of Kai Bass. Kai Blast yet, do we? Oh, we do. We have Spirit Blast. Yeah, might as well then, huh? Push him even closer to being able to merge to his final form. We won't be there yet, but steps in the right direction. Wahoo. And that about does it. Um, I think, yeah, we explore the fire side now, right? I think we've done we've done the second bosses of all three other sides. Is that right? Or did we not do the wind one yet? I've honestly lost track, man. <laughs> I know we've tried the wind one a bunch of times, but I don't think we've actually achieved it. But I think, yeah, fire is probably good, considering we have a 50% fire side team at the moment. It makes sense. It makes sense to get some more fire abilities under our belt. I just want to check real quick on uh, how this has worked. Yeah, that's given him a bunch of evolution. And he's also got a bunch, so you can re you can re-merge with a thing you've already merged with in the past and still get a bunch of evolution points from it. So realistically, I could just merge Krabby with the same thing again next time. And he would be... Would that get him on the way there, or would he be like one notch off? I don't know. But useful information nonetheless. You can speedrun these guys to be in, like, full power, which is, is kind of cool. Right, let's go exploring. Still learning about this game, even after all these years. Actually, hang on. Have we? No, we never did finish Wind Shelter, but I don't care. We're doing Fire Throne. Off we go. It is sensible, from what I remember, to leave the Fire side until last. So that your creatures are as powerful as possible, because the Fire side has um, a chance of finding a battle arena. Which has some pretty good prizes and is quite difficult. So it's nice to be as geared up as possible by the time you get to this point. Rude. Get him, lads. Well, you actually really got him, lads. Got him a bit too much there, lads. Wind it back, lads. Uh, sure. Not going to use it, but might as well. Might as well catch them all, you know. Get that Pokedex data. Let's see how dangerous Joltik is with his newfound magic spells. Not bad, actually. Considering he's like 11 levels lower than Diggersby. And has the same amount of merges, I believe. Surprisingly close in damage. Wow. Actually a little bit shocked that they didn't kill that. That's what happens when you bring level 1s to a knife fight. I 
gunfight. The expression is gunfight. The knife is the thing you bring. I'm glad we cleared that up. Hey, speaking of gunfights, this is the first uh, Let's Play I've recorded since uh, Big Donny T has been back in the uh, back in the White House again. How are we all feeling about that? <laughs> Not personally a big fan of the bloke. <laughs> Uh, we we don't we don't quote unquote talk politics here on the Average Joe channel. We don't. But uh, I am a notorious uh, lefty loser. So um, yeah, not 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 a big big fan of Donald Trump. But then to be fair, not a big fan of Kamala Harris either. So uh, very much a lose lose scenario if you're in any way like progressive. <laughs> Everyone sucks in America. <laughs> I mean, I don't think a great deal of um, Keir Starmer, the current Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. Um, but he's a darn sight more, uh, you know, good for the people, I would say, than fucking Kamala Harris would have been. But yeah, uh, she would have been the lesser of two evils, I guess, in my, in my view. Hey, boy. You ever use any Drac Divine Beasts? Nope. I want to try a variety, so I'll use one if I get the chance. Do you know much about Drax? Can't you see from my mask? The ones who dearly love Drax all wear these masks. Drax have good basic abilities, but also excel in their own particular specialties. Hmm. How about magic? Awesome? Some are good at magic, but they can't use magic or special attacks when their mana points have gone. What's left is their basic attacking power. Drax excel on this point too. In any case, the divine beasts left on the beast amulet to the very end will be Drax. Okay, that's nice. The problem with that is that I don't have any Drax. <laughs> and I'm unlikely to get any Drax anytime soon. Drax are the best. If you want to be the best beast hunter, master the Drax. Give me a Drax medal then, you... No, I won't insult the man. He's just doing his best. He's just trying to inform me. He doesn't understand his own drac based privilege. It's not his fault. Sometimes you're just raised in a drac rich society and you don't know what it means to be drac poor, you know? He just needs to develop a little bit of understanding. Ooh, okay, that's dead then. As is that. Okay, goodbye. That's why I don't use one of those stupid fragile dogs, you know. You can't just make your monsters out of paper and expect them to be useful. Like, with the best will in the world, they're not going to one-shot everything. So, sometimes having the slightest bit of bulk is quite useful. <laughs> Can it survive a hit from Joltik? Nope. See? <laughs> wow, so you managed to make it all the way here? This guy, huh? I was wondering, what is that unusual thing you're wearing? Which? This, this is the mark of a polo polo warrior. The necklace? What about it? <laughs> polo polo, huh? So, are there a lot of warriors like you, ma'am? Quah. They're all cowards now. That place is history. All they think about is money, money, money. Doing kinky neck and company's bidding. Where has the pride of the Polo Polo Warrior gone? The miserable scum. Okay, chill. Now you really got me riled up. Hey, let's do battle. Let's not. Why? What for? I didn't intend to. Can it? Let's fight. All of my creatures are tiny babies. Please don't make them fight. <laughs> All right, let's go. Don't laugh at this, Garhu. This is serious. <laughs> I'll give you a taste of a real battle. This is why I didn't want to come to the fireside. Everything's scary here. Oh, we do outspeed though. And he does only have three creatures as well. So this might not be quite as uh, intimidating as I'm giving it credit for. Oh yeah, comfortable two shots. 
even if they refuse to play ball with each other. Oh, wall went down. I think we're probably fine though. We can just do whatever we want and win. <laughs> Don't have to think too hard about this one. Took a little punchy. Took a little punchy to the little facey. Okay, kill it. Guys, kill it. Okay, fine. It's a win either way, but it would have been nice. Just to flex on him a little bit, you know? Good job, team. Apparently, accidentally insulted his ancestors that he was insulting to. You know how it goes. Anything else? What? Why the nerve? Leave me alone! He is just like the most openly hostile person in this game by quite a long shot. <laughs> I guess maybe the hunter who's after cure is, is pretty aggressive as well, but like... This dude is just is just mad at me for no reason. Um, is this a trainer? It looks like too big a, a room to be a karma. And we'll find out, I guess. And it's a karma. Hoo ha! Okay, it's just Nikki. <laughs> Just Nikki from up the road. Just popped around for a cuppa, ain't she? Yeah, that's uh, that's that. <laughs> Although that should be a new rank of uh, the spell that both Joltik and Diggersby are using, so actually a pretty good find. Right, moving on. We are a little bit beaten and bruised after only one level of this place. But I'm sure we'll be fine in inverted quotation marks. Oh, thanks. What if, I might use that, actually. Like, what, what would I ever need to hold on to that for? <laughs> There you go, Diggersby. You're the only one with levels. Stay in the fight a little bit longer, please. Problem. Problem. It's an interesting soundtrack. I'll give it that. Tell you what game does have a banger of a soundtrack. Um, Kingdom, Two Crowns. Been playing that a little bit with a friend recently. Ne never touched the game before. It's no, it's been out for forever. But it, I don't know, it never really looked that appealing to me, but it's a fun little pastime. You know, nothing too too deep and intense. Just, you know, walk around pressing buttons and chatting shit. It's, it's fine for that sort of thing. It's got a hell of a soundtrack, though. Really enjoying the, the music off that one. Might have to find myself a copy of it. I think, I think a good soundtrack really does just make a game. Like, a game can be thoroughly mediocre, but if the tunes are good enough, it's just like, yeah, I'll, I'll play this happily. <laughs> You don't necessarily have to acknowledge that that's why you're playing it, necessarily. But subconsciously, deep down... It's those bangers that bring you back. I mean, would anyone care about Sonic Adventure 2 <laughs> if it didn't have City Escape? That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I do wonder how much of it is Stockholm Syndrome, though. Maybe not for Sonic Adventure 2, but, like, I adore Diablo 2's soundtrack. I don't know why, particularly. I just think, I just absolutely love the tunes on, on Diablo 2's soundtrack. And I do wonder if it's just entirely 
because it triggers my nostalgia is the sole reason that I like it that much. <laughs> I played that game an awful lot when I was 11, and so, uh, as a result, you know? Take me back to happier times. It's not happier times at all. Who the hell enjoyed high school? Did anyone enjoy it? You don't have to answer that. Maybe like four people did. <laughs> And those four people are the reason everyone else hated it for the most part. Alright. You're gonna just show me your ass. I will take no. Don't finish that sentence, Joe. Well done. You stopped yourself. Perfect perfectly in time. No more no one will ever suspect what you were about to say there. <laughs> Let's go. Look at these wizards with their fireball spell. Such big smart boys. Attacking book. Alright. Sure. Thank you, I guess. Is this going to join back up with here? It is. Wrong type of gem. I think that one is worth quite a bit though, so I don't know why they just threw one of them at me. It does seem like the stuff that spawns on the ground outside of the houses is just weirdly high level half the time. I don't know if there just is like a singular loot table for random outside items. And as such, like, both the beginning and the end game you get the same shit from. You know what I mean? Because that's where I've been picking up the, like, Mel's Elixir 7s and shit as well. Oh, wow. Come to the fireside, get two attacking books. It will change your life. I want to sneak up on this guy because he's a big punchy man and I don't particularly want to let him big punchy me. I'll be taking a little bit of extra time out of my day to do this, but it'll pay off, I swear. I'm starting to notice, by the way, that I haven't seen any, uh, any healing houses. Ogre vines, whatever you want to call them. Here on the fireside. Whereas on the water side, there were an ass ton of them. And I feel like that's probably thematically intentional, but also awful from a game design perspective. of the apocalypse swallowed by the forest. The fuck? Why was it destroyed? What did the god of the forest want? <laughs> I'm sure I'd find the answer if I lived in this forest where locusts and divine beasts live. The fuck are locusts? Even if you figure it out, your hometown won't come back, right? True, but I vowed to find it before I die. Who's the bitch and say that? I assume those are like the events of Jagakun 1, maybe? Or maybe it's just lore that we're just not privy to. I have never heard the term locust. I mean, I must have done because I've seen this cutscene before if I've ever progressed past this part of the game. But what the fuck is a locust? <laughs> No, I just beat up his ogres and he went home. It's quite easy, actually. Gary Oak, he ain't. There's a little room we missed back here, so I need to go have a look at that. The completionist in me won't let it lie otherwise. 
We definitely need that attacking book that's going to be on the floor in here. Hey, that mask. You're good with Drax, right? What is going on? Hey, where should I place my Drax Divine Beasts? Each beast hunter must decide that himself. What a stupid question. Okay, chill. Okay, what do you recommend? Where do you place them? Let's see. They have good health points. So the center of each formation is good. Of course, they have a few special attacks. So the corners of the formation are good too. So what do you mean? Then you can put them anywhere? Yeah, I guess so. Depends on the other divine beasts too. Oh no, I wish we'd never asked. You just boast about your Drax. I don't get why the game is so intent on tutorializing me about Drax. <laughs> That's two stages in a row where someone just come along and chatted shit about Drax at me. A beast hunter must decide his formations himself. No one can teach you. Thank you. That's, you've given me a lot to think about, truly. On to level three. It is getting a little bit a little bit ropey now, though. Diggersby is completely out of mana. Everyone else is getting... A little bit low. Health is slowly being whittled away. Could really do with some of that good old fashioned healing before we reach the boss. Like in here. I guess that's sort of healing. It's recovering one of my uh, essential bars. Oh, hello. Don't know how I missed the giant pink dog in the middle of the path, but I did. It's being real subtle. It's fine. They're related to the other dogs, so they're all just fragile as fuck. The term glass cannon doesn't work because as far as I'm concerned, glass is actually pretty resilient. Right, we make windows out of glass, birds fly into them, they're completely fine. The windows, that is. You know, we, we, we make things out of glass and they're generally pretty resilient. We need like a better term for a cannon that is going to break the first time you use it. I nominate Apple Eye Cannon. <laughs> That's not fair. I've had my iPhone for a while. Quite a while, actually. Yes, I have an iPhone. I'm one of those douchebags. I've got an excuse, though, right? I have an iPhone 7, which you may know is quite, quite old at this point. Um, oh, this is the Battle Arena. We'll come back to this. Uh... The reason I have an iPhone 7 is because I am old as fuck, and rather than paying a subscription subscription to Spotify, I instead have a very large collection of MP3s that I listen to. Yeah, yeah, I understand. I know. Call me a boomer. Go for it. I, I, I fully embrace it. But, like, I was building up that collection of MP3s for decades, so why would I just delete them and then start paying a, a subscription service to listen to the exact same songs, right? It doesn't make sense. Instead, I want a phone that has a decent sized hard drive that I can just store them on. Hey there, what you doing around here? Huh? None of your beeswax. Just thinking. Betty thinking about sneaky underhanded tactics. Look who's talking. I'm always aiming to be the strongest. Uh-uh-uh. Keep talking like that and you won't be popular with girls. I ain't interested. Really? Hey, Kahu, look at me. Think you can beat me? Are we fighting again? No? Okay. <laughs> that was weird. Keep going. Go away. You're in my way. All right, duly noted. Fair enough. I'll get on with it then. Uh, what was I saying? I'm sure. I'm sure you formulated um, arguments against owning an iPhone 7 purely for collecting MP MP3s, and 
I'm sure they're all very valid, but uh, here's the thing, right? No more modern iPhone has a hard drive of 256 gig. They're, they're all, I think 128 is the biggest one, most are smaller. And yes, modern phones generally can, um, they do have SD card slots. But I've had bad luck with SD cards in the past. They've become corrupted and I've lost everything on them, so I just don't really trust them. So, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I don't play a lot of modern games on my phone or anything. You know, I have a PC for that. <laughs> so, you know, my phone does what I need it to. And until it explodes because it's an Apple product and you can't trust it. Until it sets fire to my bed while I'm sleeping. I uh, will continue to use this iPhone 7 and you cannot stop me. <laughs> when it breaks, I will probably buy another iPhone 7. <laughs> How What's indeed. Wrong? You don't look so happy. I can't stand it. I think I lost my precious cocoon. Cocoon? A cocoon containing a divine beast? That's right. I thought I left it back in the temple. But it wasn't there. Mysterious. It's really angry. Yes, it should be. Oh well. I can't go back until I find it. Huh, I see. Sounds terrible. I thought I left it back there. If you find a cocoon containing a chew, tell me ASAP, okay? Uh, I won't. I will keep it. But I think it's more likely that, uh... Whatever the fuck his name is, my rival... <laughs> that he stole it, to be honest with you, mate. Did you find it? What is his name? The old man's called Wu, and the young man's called... Dave. Stuart. Terry? Terry and Wu. Yeah, that, that has a ring to it. We'll call him Terry. <laughs> the fuck is his name? <laughs> He does have a name. They've said it multiple times today in this video. I don't think we'll ever know, though. I don't think we can ever say for sure. Sure. I bet this is one of those flaming mushrooms we just fought. Behold my confidence. A. It is an eye shroom. I wonder how they came up with that name. <laughs> what an original idea to name a mushroom with an eye, an eye shroom. There's clearly a, a lot of deep production meetings around that one. What did it just do? I wasn't really paying attention. It made itself mad, I think. Cool. Is it like is it like casting berserk on itself where it can't use skills anymore, but its normal attacks do more damage? Because if that's the case, that is potentially very good for a physical attacker. It did seem to affect the entire side though, so it would need to be a a uh, entire team of physical attackers for it to be worthwhile. So I couldn't use it on Pikachu, for example, because the other two are wizards, Harry. Sorry, you just have to add Harry after saying wizards. It's just, like, essential, I think. And this is coming from someone who has read about three chapters of the first Harry Potter book and seen the first two movies, I think, and just didn't really care for them. I don't know, I feel like I was maybe, like, two years too old for Harry Potter. I feel like I just missed the cusp for Harry Potter fandom. It's more of a, more a younger and millennial sort of thing, I think, Harry Potter-ism. I was more about Lord of the Rings in that era. Which, hot take, hot take, and this is a hot take. Prepare for this hot take. I don't think it's particularly good. I think it's, I think I think Lord of the Rings was an important franchise, and it sort of 
set the groundwork for basically all fantasy writing ever since. But going back and reading it, not not very not very entertaining. <laughs> I don't have much fun reading Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Fuck all happens for so long. <laughs> and then when stuff does happen, it's it's as I say, maybe unfair to call it cliche, but it is cliche, right? Because all the cliches were evolved from Lord of the Rings. It did them first, but that doesn't mean it's an interesting plot point at this point, right? We've seen it, we've heard it, we've done it. That's my hot take, anyway. Do with it what you will. Call me a fake fantasy fan. It's understandable. This is the uh, this is the boss level that we're on right now, so I'm getting a bit wary about just entering buildings willy nilly. Or willy anything really. I don't know why I'm putting so much faith in there. The fireside's ability to kill all these, because they definitely can't kill all these. Should always go with the earth side first. I have one strategy with this team, and I didn't follow through on it. To be fair, my team isn't that weak. I know Diggersby's out of mana, and I could probably use a little bit of healing on Pikachu maybe, but like, we can probably take on a boss right now. I just like use a Mel's elixir. I'm just scouting the place out a bit first though. Clear up all the fights. We'll map out the map. We'll maybe gamble on one or two buildings just to see if we get anything useful in them before the boss. And then at that point, we'll heal up and, and go for it. Would be real nice. To, oh, we, we walked past the arena. I forgot it was there. I was all like, oh, we'll come back for this later. And then I was talking about iPhones and Lord of the Rings and I got distracted. <laughs> this is why I shouldn't talk. I should just sit here in silence when I'm playing these games. I know that is like a weirdly popular thing on YouTube, isn't it? Commentless, commentaryless Let's Plays. I guess it's understandable. I mean, me chattering away to myself isn't everyone's cup of tea. But I don't know. I can't imagine just sitting and watching someone play a game in silence. I feel like that's just a bit... Maybe like a really narrative-heavy game with, you know, a lot of voice acting and stuff. I could maybe understand it. Like a... What are they called? David Cage game. Beyond Two Souls and Detroit become person and all that. Maybe something like that, because they are basically movies anyway. I mean, each to their own, like, if that's what you enjoy watching, then, you know, don't let me stop you, but uh, it, just, it just seems weird. Cause, and they do numbers as well, like, I've stolen footage from them in the past. <laughs> When I didn't have footage of my own videos I could I could use for a game, I've like taken a snippet from one of them. Um, and they, they get like millions of views. It's just pretty wacky. Okay, where do we think this boss is going to be? Honestly, it could be any of the four, couldn't it? They all they all have kind of boss energy. Maybe we use the Mel's elixir now. Pikachu just healed from evolving. Everyone else is kind of okay. Yeah, let's just go for it. Hey, aren't you the guy who lost his divine beast cocoon and is looking for it? Thanks for the exposition. Hey, how did you know? We all wear those almost identical masks. You think so? Look carefully. They are a little different. They're not. It's a lie. Hey, you are 
right? Did you find it yet? Never believe Kahu. Not yet. Ugh. What do I do? <laughs> a lot of exposition for a single line of dialogue from that guy. <laughs> No joke. I wasn't joking. I was just checking on you as a person. Wanted to make sure you were doing okay. It's been a pretty serious, uh, dramatic shift in your well-being. So you know, just checking up on you. I'm wondering if the roaring sounds in the ambient soundtrack only happen when you're relatively close to the place where the boss is. Because I don't think I heard that roar since I was near this house earlier. We're not talking about the big frog that just fell through the floor. I just made a discovery. Some valuable information. I might be able to use this to my advantage in future. This guy's going to hit me really hard, by the way. Just so we're all prepared for that. I'm going to have to make sure I build that wall and it stays up. Keep the undesirables out. By which I mean this big three-eyed frog monster. Okay, that could have been worse. Let's do that some more. And if he ever decides to not attack, we'll let the other side have a have a swing. He does like attacking though. But he's only used two fire abilities as well. I know he isn't technically on a wheel, but it does seem like they operate by the same logic for the most part, but not quite always. No, oh, even a dark attack destroyed the wall. Tell you what. He'll survive this round, but I think he'll die to a round of attacks from the fire side next turn. So we'll do that so they can get some experience. I don't think he'll kill any of them outright. He's not that threatening. As powerful as Arbok is, we'll let him sit this one out. Oh, we outspeed as well, so he doesn't even get to do shit. Get fuck, nerd. Pretty good, right? I swear this game does get hard. I promise to you. <laughs> Firewalking. Hard Cognit, Lovely Gem, Ruby Flame, Key Spore. So what else do you think's out here in these two remaining little hot spots of activity? What else do you think this game's willing to offer us? A chat with Nam. Nam is what his name is. It's name without the E. What is he going on about? <laughs> what? Got nothing to say to you. Like I get it. It's a we've got the sad music. He's feeling homesick. He's you know even though he's putting on this brave face of hating his ancestry because they're cowards or whatever. He he misses them deep down. I get it. It was weird phrasing though. Who was all like, oh, do you think I could we could eat these plants? But. It's not me who wants to eat the plants. I want to get the plants and take them back to my cow. I guess. 
Do you think my cow would want to be here eating these plants? I, I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe he had a cow that he was particularly fond of, you know. Old Betsy back home. As good a pet as any, I guess. Krabby, come on. You're letting the team down by still being a little tadpole nerd. You're one of the most merge capable on the team. You think you would have... Uh, I keep saying merge. Evolve capable on the team. You think you would have evolved by now. There's two different ways of making creatures stronger and I will conflate the terminology for both of them and you can't stop me. Anyway, that I believe concludes the fireside. Not bad, right? Not bad. Pretty happy with that. We'll uh, do a quick save and uh, call it a day. More of this next time. Bye for now.